A forgotten artifact lies in pieces on a planet far from Earth. Few know it exists except those who took it back and those whose ancestors created it. Four young people are thrown into a race against emissaries of the gods to find his pieces. Mistrust, greed, and magic are tangled in an endless web. What will the fate be of the universe once it is found and reassembled? Get Scepter of the Gods, The Route of Truth now on Amazon, and get wrapped up in the saga that will not let you go. You are listening to the best of the Motivational Devotional. This episode originally aired on October 23rd, 2023, and was titled Downtime to Uptime. Original episodes of the Motivational Devotional will return Monday, March 4. Good morning, and welcome to the Motivational Devotion, where we are merging motivation and spirituality to create a daily dose of confident positivity. I hope that this morning's podcast will help you to be more spiritually and positively motivated so that you can transform your day. I made a statement in my podcast two days ago that I want to expand on with today's podcast. I said, it's one thing to seize opportunity. It's more powerful to seize the downtime and turn it into uptime in the direction you choose. That little concept occurred to me some years ago when I realized that I could add up all the time I spent scrolling through social media, playing online games, pseudo shopping online for things I didn't need, watching TV shows and movies that weren't all that interesting, and I would come up with an asset of enough time to do something positive with my life. Even though I knew better, I still caught myself at times falling into the complaint trap with people at work or in my family. That uses a lot of energy for absolutely no benefit. I also found myself on that roller coaster of adrenaline that required putting out fires here and there, dealing with emergencies and crises, and then after that surge of the expense of energy, all I wanted to do was collapse and do any of those things I just mentioned to vegetate a few minutes, which usually turned into many minutes or even a few hours. When I realized this, I knew that not vegetating would be difficult at first, but that I wasn't getting anywhere on the roller coaster, so I started paying attention to how much time I was literally throwing away. It was embarrassingly significant. It occurred to me that I could use that downtime that was getting me nowhere and at first do something about the kinds of things that turned into crises, which I did. I headed things off instead of waiting for them to erupt. That put me into more control over my life and resulted in fewer times of crisis. Having fewer times of crisis gave me more energy to engage in what I would choose to do in my downtime, and it also increased the availability of downtime. I realized that I was recycling my time. I was taking downtime and using my intent to make that time into uptime. The coolest thing about uptime is that we choose how we spend it. It's like you have a thousand dollars in your pocket and you can spend it on whatever you choose. You could waste it at the casino, or you could spend it on something that makes your life more like what you want your life to be. When you do that with time, there is no issue with returns or resale value because your time is buying you the life you want. So what I found was that by taking a little bit of downtime and changing it from self-destructive or just unproductive time, I could turn that little bit into a little bit of uptime reduce frustration in my life, and gradually start changing where I was headed, and that gave me more downtime that I could turn into more uptime, and also spend some of that downtime for renewal. That's another podcast, but if you're using some of your time for renewing your mind, your spirit, and your body, then to me that's still uptime. If you keep yourself healthy, keep your mind healthy, grab hold of a strong sense of hope for your future, and pursue it with relentless intent, your downtime can and will turn into time that you spend how you choose, because all of creation is truly conspiring in your favor. Trust that the universe always has your back. Octavia Spencer said, The way to bring about change is to be proactive and active. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. Please help keep this podcast going by following the Motivational Devotional Facebook page. 
following at Threefold Way Radio on Twitter and sharing the written format of today's message from motivational-devotional.com on your social media. I am deeply grateful for your support and thank you for letting Motivational Devotional be part of your journey. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Radio, LLC.